aliens. Um, welcome back to Conspiracy Theories. <laughs> and we're yeah, talking about aliens and why they're going to invade us. And I'm going to make an alien. This entire mess goes a little something like, we're a resource-rich planet and we can support all this life, all of these relatively useless animals, and all of these slightly, yes, useless people. Now, an alien could see that at any time and think, I want to harvest that right now. And they wouldn't even care about us. In fact, we'd probably be terrific nutrients for them. But the universe is a gigantic place. We're talking like light years across, like 92 billion or something. And our galaxy is still pretty huge, not compared to that. But it's large. There's a lot of space to cover. Not space. <laughs> If the aliens ever figured out a quick and cheap method of space travel, they would almost certainly have the capability to find planets like ours, nutrient-rich and Earth-like, and they're in the habitable zone of their sun, or star, or whatever, and just take all of our stuff, no matter if we liked it or not. Take those donuts, for example. Do you think aliens like donuts? Dude, that could be another conspiracy. <laughs> Aliens like donuts? Something else to consider is how we're actually trying to contact aliens by blasting our obnoxious voices into space. We're trying to reach them. If an advanced alien civilization capable of overthrowing an entire planet, taking its resources, whatever, were to hear that and get the source, they would know there's intelligent life there. So one, by destroying us, they could get rid of any competition, we wouldn't have a chance to advance and become competitive with them because we'd be dead, because they'd kill us. And then they just get our resources. Do you think aliens... It's got snail eyes. <laughs> Do you think aliens have like color, like, um, eye whites? Like, you know how like, the whites of our eyes are white? Like, do you think they're like... Freaking purple. I want to know if they have some sort of other method of perceiving, like, the world around them. Like, we've got eyes. Like, we yeah. have something completely different. True. I feel like we're talking more about the anatomy of an alien right now. Well, than the fact that it's interesting to think about because think if life develops differently on a different world and it goes through oh, like, like adaption, like stuff how their body adapts like to their world. It starts differently, and yeah, that has something to do with it. But like, you can see common themes throughout life on Earth because of how it started and how it progressed and how it evolved and how species came from other species. But if it starts completely differently, like, we're not talking about something where you still got the microbes left over. Like, it just starts completely differently on a different world. Like, what if, like, they're all just developed, they got, like, different kinds of joints, they think differently, process things differently, you know, reason differently, like logic and stuff like that. Dude, I'm sound like such a nerd. Oh, UFO sightings are whack. <laughs> yeah, why do they always take place in the middle of nowhere? So why is it always in, the, the why is it always in Europe? Right why, you know, I feel like it's always in Europe. Yeah, like in... <laughs> like, it'd be like in like, freaking Sweden. What is it? No, not, I have never heard of one in Sweden. Like Russian and stuff? Oh, Russian too. Russia is crazy. Because uh, why does every single yeah, Russian wait. have a dash cam? What does this have to do with aliens? Wait, so like... What if we're the aliens? Yeah, what if Russians we're the, the aliens? Regular? And what if we're just like in constant denial of the fact that we're like not a normal species? But you know, then again... There's a theory out there that this is like a planet where all of the rejects go. Like, we were part of an advanced alien civilization, but we're like the rejected members of that society, so they threw us on this planet. There's a theory out there. That's why. Because, like, then I can, then I can understand, because every human on this thing has some sort of flaw. Yeah. So, like, We're it's like, there could, be, there, was, like there could be a kid that's, like, super <coughs> smart, but he didn't get accepted because he's a jerk. I don't know. Just, like, I mean... Because he stole his mom's car. There. there. And smoked all of the drugs. Basically, this week for conspiracy theories. This alien got a body like sriracha. Girl, you got a body like sriracha. 
<laughs> Goodbye. See you next week on Conspiracy Theories. Jace is already leaving. Bye! Aliens have curves. Are aliens thick? <laughs>